This video will show how to conduct a hypothesis test for the difference in two means using jump. This is the kind of hypothesis test that we want to use when we have one numerical and one categorical variable. So we want to compare the mean from one group to the mean from another group. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have your data open and that you already have your categorical variable as just two levels. So make sure that you watch the other video that shows how I made this size two cat variable if you're in that situation where you need to convert one of your categorical variables to only having two levels. For me, this variable only has small and large as the two possible options. I wanna compare the average city mile per gallon for each size of car for small and large. The first thing that you're going to need to do next is make sure that you have the calculator add-in installed. The link to this is provided on your course iLearn page. When you open the link, this is what you're going to see, the statistics calculators add-in. So you want to click the link and then the file downloads and when you open it, make sure that you click install and give jump just a minute. Now it's done and I can see if I go to the add-ins menu at the top, I have the Statistics Calculators 3 add-in. This is the particular add-in that you want to use to conduct hypothesis tests or to calculate confidence intervals for your project data. In this case, we said we're going to explore how to do a hypothesis test for two means. So you're going to go down to that option. Click on that link. And now I can choose raw data or summary statistics. Raw data means that you're just going to tell Jump which columns on your spreadsheet you want to use. Summary statistics would be if you had already calculated means and standard deviations and things like that separately and you wanted to just put in those numbers. But here it's easier to just tell Jump what variables we want it to use. So click OK. And now the first thing I have to do is pick a column containing the names of the two groups. This is where I'm going to choose my size two cat variable. It has to just have two groups or it's not going to conduct your analysis correctly. And then I click on that button that told me to pick a column for two groups and size two cat shows up. Next, I need to pick a column containing the sample values. This means which variable has my numeric data that I want to study. So I'm choosing my city MPG variable clicking the button for sample values and it shows up. And now I'm going to click OK. And in this window, Jump has started my hypothesis test, but we can see it doesn't give any results yet because it needs a little bit more information. The first thing is that I need to know which one is sample one and which is sample two. So I can see that it gives me two different summaries here but it doesn't tell me which is which. That's one thing about jump that's a little bit tricky. So what I know is that my categorical variable has two levels, large and small. And in terms of alphabetical order, large comes first because L comes before S. So sample one is about whichever variable level comes first. So sample one is for my large cars and sample two is the average for all of my small cars. And I can double check that if you've done the other analysis where we do separate summary statistics by category. When I did this earlier, I could see that for my large cars, my sample mean was 16.5. And over here, my sample one mean is 16.5. So that's my large cars. All right, now that I've got that figured out, I know that I want to conduct a t-test like we learned in class instead of a z-test. So click on t-test and then you can ignore the variance option. Now you have to choose the correct alternative hypothesis based on what your research question is. Here, I think that large cars are going to have a lower MPG than small cars. So the order of the math here, mean two is for my small cars. So small cars minus large cars, I think that's going to be greater than my hypothesized value. Now again, you have to choose the correct option for your hypothesis test. And what is my null value? That's what I'm gonna put in here for my hypothesized difference. My null value would be zero. I think that there's no difference and my hypothesis test will instead see if the difference is greater than zero. 
Now that I've input all of that information, jump gives me output over here. It gives me my t-score, which is 7.09, and it also gives me a p-value. Here it just says my p-value is less than 0 0.0001, so it's very, very small. And you can even have jump tell you what decision you make if you check the reveal decision box. So here that tells me that I should reject my null hypothesis that the two averages were equal, and instead I have evidence that mean 2 is actually greater than mean 1. So my conclusion here would be that all of my small cars have an average that is larger than the average of my large cars, meaning I have really shown that small cars tend to have a higher city MPG compared to large cars. And then you want to make sure to just select the pieces of information that are useful to report in your presentation. In that case, this really means the T-score and the P-value. Those are the main things that you want to share.